Hello, my name is Sophie. I'm Zyra. My name is Zoe May. I'm Zanaya. And I'm Naya. Welcome to our Cyber Arts presentation. Today we are here to talk to you about the Cyber Arts program. We'll explain what this program will involve, what types of projects we work on, and how you can apply for this program next year. First of all, what is Cyber Arts? The Cyber Arts program is a specialized program that integrates digital art and fine arts like drawing, painting, and sculpting into our regular curriculum, such as language arts, drama, social studies, and even math. We learn a variety of new skills, such as critical thinking and inquiry skills. We learn how to create various types of digital and visual art, as well as the techniques used to perform them. Also, we learn presentation skills like we're doing now. These are some of the resources we have access to. We have our own cyber lab with an installment of Adobe Creative Cloud, which includes Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Animate, Illustrator, and other major apps to help us with our learning. We also have access to professional cameras, drawing tablets, kilns for clay work, pencil crayons, paints, and more. These are some pictures of the Cyber Lab. We have access to the to the computers on a daily basis to complete our projects. Students use a variety of materials to create artwork, such as pencil sketches, pastels, watercolor, markers and ink, paint, and colored pencils. We even learned how to create our own superheroes. For the month of October, we participated in Inktober. Inktober is a challenge to do an illustration per day using ink and following a specific prompt. Technology. Technology is a huge part of the cyber arts program. We use technology for a vast amount of assignments such as Photoshop assignments, creating logos, filming, and many more fun projects. Here are some examples of Photoshop assignments that students have created. Some of these assignments are social studies projects that we have done. For example, we have created images and posters that demonstrate human rights and confederation. Even in language, we create artwork. An example of how we can demonstrate our learning is to recreate book covers of novels that we have read. Or, Here's another example of where we created comic strips to show a summary of a story. This is a project that we did at the beginning of the year, representing global issues, which we researched to find information, conveying our message to our class. Drama. We also create artwork in drama. The students of Cyber Arts learn to film, edit, and produce our own videos. Every Cyber Arts student is required to do two inquiry study units per year. They give students a chance to reach outside their comfort zone and try a new technique. You get a month to create the art piece that you desire to create, and then you present it to your class. Students have created collages about the environment. The one on the left shows Mother Nature crying about humans taking her for granted and overproducing technology. The one on the right shows the problem with plastic pollution in our oceans, which negatively affects marine life. Other students have created buildings for their ISUs. This example symbolizes the difference between a healthy and polluted community. You can also do paintings for your ISUs. There are many types of painting styles, such as oil painting, acrylic, and watercolor. You can even go above and beyond and integrate your own style with the artist of your inspiration. You pretty much have freedom in what you choose to specialize during the ISU month. These students are interested in fashion design and created dresses out of various recycled materials such as old newspapers, magazines, and parchment paper. Here is an example of a student who wanted to become a theater makeup artist, so she decided to do a makeup design for her ISU. This student was inspired by the artist named Banksy and created this graffiti art using his style. We can even create 3D 
Why are sculptures? As you can see, Cyber Arts is a program filled with creativity and fun. It is an awesome experience that will be amazing to take part in. We encourage you to take part in this program. We assure you it's a fun experience, a way to learn new things and find passion, whether it's fashion or graphic design. Cyber Arts is filled with opportunities to develop your own creative art style, as well as teaching many artistic techniques. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We will now pass it to one of our cyber arts teachers, Ms. Chan, to explain more about uh, the applying process. Ah, that's so perfect. Yeah.